because over there you do have a few people who actually take those stories seriously. They really had it down pat. They kept they have Jesus saying, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, which is basically in response to talking about money. Whose benefit would that be? It's so blatantly obvious. The Calpurnus Peso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. Warning. The following video will prove, once and for all, that Jesus was an inventive character. After this, there is no return to superstition ever again. The Calpurnus Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. The Calpurnius Piso The Calpurnius Piso family was a Roman family of kings that ruled part of the Roman Empire and Judea at the time of Jesus. People revolted against the Roman kings and didn't want to be ruled by them. So the Roman kings invented Jesus in order to pacify the people in Rome. This is Illuminati's biggest secret. Because over there you do have a few people who actually take those stories seriously. The perception of Roman characters in the Gospels, they're all interpreted in a favourable light. They are pro-Roman. They do not depict the Romans as the forces of evil. Because over there, you do have a few people who actually take those stories seriously. These things are works of imperial propaganda created by the Romans. Um, we are in a world of, of, of craziness that is caused by people not understanding these texts. So I think there is a massive political need um, to, to understand these texts correctly. And that is why I, I believe um, that this work showing that these texts are works of Roman origin and works of literature, not history, is so critical. Because over there, you do have a few people who actually take those stories seriously. I show that, that Matthew was composed not as a work of history, but as a work of literature. It was composed on the model of the Torah. And the Torah, um, which is the traditional um, sacred book of the Jews, consists of, of five, five sacred books. And these five sacred books were used as the basis for creating the five divisions in the book of Matthew. Um, the book of Genesis, which means the origin, was used to compose the origin of Jesus in the book of Matthew. The theme of Exodus, meaning leaving Egypt, was used to compose in the Gospel of Matthew the passage about Jesus visiting Egypt. It's just like a reversal of what it is in, 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 in Torah. Then you have the book of Numbers, which in, um, in Hebrew means the book of the wilderness, and that leads to the passage in the book of Matthew in which Jesus goes on into the wilderness. And then you have the major section, um, the book of Deuteronomy, in which Moses gives law to um, the, the Israelites on the mountain. And that is used in the book of Matthew to create um, the story of the Sermon on the Mount, in which Jesus gives, the, gives a new law. And finally, the book of Leviticus comes out of the, um, the Torah and is put at the end of the book of Matthew. And that is the account of the sacrifice, and that is used to create the story of the crucifixion it was composed not as a work of history but as a work of literature because over there you do have a few people who actually take those stories seriously the Calpurnus Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament they rather than he didn't want to be forgotten the Piso family did in fact write the New Testament and they left signs of themselves, signatures of themselves in numbers decoded in the life of Jesus, in his ministries, etc.
the Calpurnius Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. Now, the four Piso signature numbers are 41, 60, 19, and 26. These are the signatures, numbers of Calpurnius Piso. He left, or rather, the Calpurnius Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. Remember, the Piso, the Calpurnius Piso family was a family of kings related to their bloodline the same blood. Now they wanted to be remembered. They left signs that we were the authors of the New Testament. And their secret signs was numbers. Now let's move forward and see if we can find 41, 19, 60 and 26 written in the Bible in codes. The Calpurnius Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. The Piso family invented Jesus. Calpurnius Piso family were related to the Herod and the Flavian dynasty. They were the main rulers of the Roman Empire and Judea. And as I said, they invented Jesus in order to pacify the Messianic movement and the rebellious people in Rome. And they did that by reading the Old Testament of the Jews and then inventing a follow-up Messiah and also a messiah for the rest of people in order to enslave. The Calpurnius Piso family left signatures as a sign that they wrote the New Testament. They, rather than he, didn't want to be forgotten. I mean, they really had it down pat. They kept, they have Jesus saying, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, which is basically in response to talking about money. Whose benefit would that be? so blatantly obvious.